Hey. Hey, game. Yo, what is it, Bugs? I just remembered something a little funny about when I was still in Mobius. Is it another Sonic story with 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 certain parties? If you catch my drift, nah, not this time. But eh, there's another story that follows this one. All right, take take me on the journey, Bugs. All right, all right. Well, okay. This is this is a story. This is a story on one of the bravest freedom fighters I've ever met. And only kind of he's even more brave than me and son could ever possibly be. You're not gonna you're gonna you're gonna tell that story. Yep. Well, back when we freedom fighters were basically just starting out. And I, I remember this a long, uh, this was a long, a long, a long time ago. I told you, I told you the Saiyan Lords of a long time. Uh, but anyways, I told you guys this, so. Anyways, so I went, and when he come in saying, how long do you live? We Saiyans are pretty, we Saiyan Lords are pretty much like Time Lords, and the fact that we live, we can live practically forever if we don't get, you know, we don't get killed or wounded. So, anyways, back to what I'm trying to say. Well, you know that little fight with Chaos? Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, like in Sonic Adventure, it wasn't just Sonic, it was all of us. It took us all to fight Chaos. Now, I made a certain thing to finish Chaos. And it wasn't like in the freaking... It wasn't like in Sonic Adventure. It wasn't like Sonic Adventure, I will tell you this. Chaos wasn't some... Wasn't some thing that lived inside the Master Ammo because... Because, um... Because all the war and stuff and all the echidnas were kind of... You know, all the echidnas were basically... Basically choosing war and blah blah blah. No, no. Though, in other Sonic universes I've been to, that seems to be the case. But, oh, no, 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 this real, the story cast for my universe is a lot more, I'd say, messed up. Well, you guys probably don't know this, but, and the, uni the Mobius I grew up in, we had more things to worry about than just freaking Robotnik. We had the Dracon Empire, which is what I'm about to talk about in a minute. We also had something a little bit more deadly than the Dark Egg Legion. We had the freaking Brotherhood of freaking Metallics. And if you know what that means, then good, goody for you. You deserve a cookie. Okay. Think about this. Think about this. And if anybody gets, if anybody kind of th says like, Oh, it's kind of like X-Men. You're kind of right. Imagine this. A whole bunch of Metal Sonics. Controlled by one Metal Sonic. He's kind of like the master mold of the Metal Sonics. The mastermind. And he ain't just one. It's all of them. But every time you defeat one, they get stronger. They get smarter. You try to fit... You try to rack your, you try to rack your brain because you're about as smart as them, and you know you, you know you got some, some kind of thing to figure, figure them out and try to stop them. But no, they keep outwitting you, even though your IQ is even, even though your IQ is even higher than anything, every anything in that universe. But still, they keep outwitting you. You're talking about yourself, aren't you? Yes. Now, the Dracon Empire. I really don't remember much after the... After the so... Like, I got to that one blow to my head about the Dracon Empire. But I remember they made chaos. See, way, way, way back in the very beginning of this, there were... And... 
seriously. This, I'm going to see. Okay. The Dragon Empire are basically, they're basically like the marine life that didn't want to be ruled by Robotnik, but didn't want to help his freedom fighters out either. No, they had their own little agenda. They wanted to take over Mobius. Not just take over Mobius. They wanted to just... They they wanted to take it over at first, but no, they wanted to destroy it and then, then freaking rule the whole universe. Because nothing would stop them. Now, Chaos. Since the Dragon Empire pretty much is basically fish people. Well, at least in my universe, anyway. At least in my universe, anyway. They created something so horrible, so terrible. And did I did I ever mention the Robotnik in our universe was actually a good guy at one point? It it's kind of important because it kind of kind of fits. Uh, well, actually, no. Wait a minute. No, no. I'm thinking about something else. Now, our Robotnik was about the same as anybody else's Robotnik. Mm. But, dude, Zai told me once he was good before, but I don't believe it. Um, but, you know, so, anyways, they, so, they created Chaos. And he wasn't like he is in the freaking games or any of the other universes I've been to. No. Chaos. Chaos is something horrible. Something something I still get nightmares about to this very day. Along with the uh, usual thing of nightmares I usually get. But those I can talk about for another time. Uh, okay. So I made a chaos converter, which basically takes chaos's energy. But at the time, a, yeah, at the time, Sonic had a little bit of issues with his super form. He can't control it like he does today. It was a lot like Fleetway Sonic. It was a lot like Fleetway Sonic, and I'll just I'll talk about that little story another time. But let me talk about let me just so anyways. Well, I wasn't gonna wait around and have Sonic turn super. Sonic, you know, Sonic back then he hated going super because he knows he knew. The evil that's inside him would control him. You think Dark Spine Sonic is freaking is freaking terrible? Nah. Think about think about this. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about a whole bunch of other stuff, but uh, just to give you an, just to give you a little heads up, the stories I may talk about later. Um, uh, Fleetway Sonic is something worse. Than any other Sonic thing that is evil. I swear to God, fighting it is even worse than all that. But since Sonic was having issues fighting chaos, and I, I was, I was fighting him off. I was fighting him off. I told Johnny, yes, Johnny Lightfoot. I told Johnny, get the generator working, man. We don't have much time. And it was unplug. It, it because these cores had to be connected in the right, just the right time to stop chaos. But Johnny did it with his hand. Johnny did it with like he grabbed two of the cords, and when chaos hit him, those two cords electrocuted old Johnny. I. Still sort of blame myself for that. I mean, I can make longer freaking cords to save his life. Longer cords to probably that probably would have saved his life. Yeah, I still sort of blame myself for that one. You shouldn't, Bugsy. You shouldn't. I know, I know, but I do. Some kind of do. It was my blunder. It was my invention that kind of would. It kind of stopped chaos because it did stop chaos. I made sure any of his energy 
Sorry, my dog is doing a weird thing right now. Crystal, calm down! <laughs> anyways. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. So, the last remaining bits of Cass's energy. Now, what I did to that, I put it in the one place no one would ever try to steal it. Well, ever try to revive Chaos in a last ditch effort. I made I made it pretty apparent to shove it in the shove it in the one place. And that was the that was the freaking Phantom Zone. And you guys you guys are probably like, Bugsy, you shoved it in the Phantom Zone? Is that like the Superman Phantom Zone? No, there's different Phantom Zones. From every universe you travel in there are different multi... God, Crystal, stop it! Anyway, sorry, sorry. Crystal, seriously? Anyways, getting back to my train of thought, I swear to... Crystal, why are you being, why are you being so obnoxious right now? Okay, so it's different. Where, like I said, every universe you travel, it's different. But anyways, back to what I'm, back to what I was saying. So I shoved it in the Mobius, fan, the Phantom Zone. Oh, do you think Zone, per, you think Zone Cop, you think the Zone Prison is bad with all the Zone Cops? Ew. This is like the underworld if the underworld was on crack. Yes, I yes, seriously. So I shoved it in there. Now what it happens to that is evil evil Mobius type demons. Various numbers of Heartless, because yes, Heartless exists no matter what universe you go in. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So I made sure that if anybody tried to try and revive Chaos, they'd have to go through a various gauntlet of enemies, of enemies, and various Bugsy Pawns I've put in the Phantom Zone. Yeah. Robotnik had egg ponds, I had Bugsy ponds. It was pretty. It's. But the thing about my Bugsy ponds, they were stronger. So, yeah. I had like a whole bunch of them kind of guard Chaos's remains. Because it's easy to bring him back. It's just the thing is, you have to freaking get past all that. And whatever else the Mobius Phantom Zone has to throw at you. So, yeah, it's not really an easy thing to do. Okay, but I should talk about what happened afterwards after Johnny's death. Well, Sonic, Sonic and Amy told me this. Um, that both, you know, that he, that Johnny actually returned, but he was ticked off. And let me tell you, he was ticked off like an evil spirit. He was ticked off. He tried killing Amy, um, but only after she could get over Johnny's death, like some of us did. Well, I thought some of us did, but none of us really. He got. He tried to go after Sonic. Sonic did the same thing. He went after me, and this was about. This was the most. I guess the most emotional battle I've ever had because, you know, throughout it, I was freaking sobbing. I'll, I'll admit, I was sobbing. I was swinging my sword just trying to fight him off. I was like, Johnny, please stop this. Now imagine that just with tears in my eyes and I'm kind of barely saying that. <laughs> I'm just fighting him off, trying, trying to, trying to trying to just hold, keep myself together because I was about to lose it. I was like, Johnny, it's not... I'm sorry what happened to you. 
This is my fault. You shouldn't even be doing this to me. <laughs> because, man, I lowered down my sword for a minute. I'm like, Johnny, me, you were, f you're, you were my best friend. You were me, you were, you were me, you were Sonic, you were Sonic and I's best friend, and I'm sorry for what happened to you, and I wish I could take it back. I can't. And I wish you would stop haunting our friends. It's very it's disturbing to see you like this. Because remember, Johnny, you wanted to be a hero. You wanted to prove that you didn't need me or Sonic to back you up. And you did prove that. You didn't need us when you were facing down chaos. You didn't even care that you were going to die. You just did it because you knew you knew you knew what you had to do and that and that my friend is the very essence of a freedom fighter never forget that and Johnny looked at me for a minute I looked at him and he said he looked at me quite a bit he said Bugsy I'm sorry for everything I've put you all through <sighs> I think I'll go, I'll go now. I'll go now and see if, the, see if the big guy upstairs will at least let me go into heaven. I said, Johnny, go in peace. And that was the last I ever heard of Johnny after that. Um... I stuck around in Mobius for a bit because, you know, after all, after the stuff that Johnny tried to do to pe do to people, and he was he was kind of like Freddy Cougar at that point. I just hung around them because they needed me. Now the biggest question is, why did I leave Mobius? Why did I leave people that you know really cared about me? Well, the answer to that is. The answer to that is, and yeah, I did have, I didn't have amnesia at that point. I basically go where I'm needed. If people need me, I'll go wherever I'm needed. But if they, but if my, you know, if my, if my version of Sonic needs me, that version of Mobius, I'm coming no matter what. I can, I can be brushing my teeth right now, so I can tell me, oh, Mobius is being attacked about by a freaking robotic type hollow and I'll freaking I'll freaking rush I'll be like I'll be like I'll probably get Ansakamaru or Harima to come with me and be like guys get your things we're going to Mobius you know and they don't even have to ask me a question like why are we going they'll just know you know some of my best my best memories people was being in Mobius. You know, Gene? Like, some of my best... Like, some of my best memories of me and you were basically in high school. Yeah. You think you should ever talk about those stories? I will, I think, tomorrow. Besides, I just felt like I've answered... answered um, certain questions. Hmm. Any other questions about... You and Sally? I'm not going to answer those. I've already answered those once before, and I'm not going to answer them again. Will you, t will you tell me afterwards? When this thing starts rolling? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you some of those. Because, because, dude, I'm a saint, and you are a werewolf. And all I got to say to that is, say it with me, say it, say it with me now, boom, you didn't say it with me, yeah, I, I know, <laughs> but hey, but hey, you know, wherever Johnny really is, if he's in the underworld, or heaven, I think, you know, I think he's looking either above you or bo or below you and says Bugsy you're doing the you're doing a good job you're doing the best
best that you ever possibly could. You're fighting for you're fighting for both of us. And that's all. That's all. That's all a friend like me ever really wanted. You really think so, Gein? I know so. Because if that was me, I'd probably be saying the same thing. You know, you know, Gein. You can say the right. Sometimes, when you're not being a pervert, a perverted, freak, a perverted freak job, you actually can You actually do say. You actually do say some right things when you want to. Mm, thanks, buddy. Now, how about we get out of here? How about we get out of here and eat some of those smothered burritos from Taco Bell? Dude, you had me at burrito. Okay? You had me at burrito. Alright, guys. See you later. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... You know, the sand of, yeah. me being a sand, I don't share my past often, but when I do, I feel better than, I feel better than when I started. So, see you guys later.